Good morning, Team Courage. I cannot tell you guys how happy I am to be here right now. I felt so crummy yesterday. I was super worried that I had the flu, and I don't. Like, I took it easy all day yesterday. I didn't do any lives. I literally lived on my couch, and I rested. <coughs> I still have a cough, but that's remnant from like a cold I had back in December and here I am now. So I am thrilled to be here and I will say um, this live was actually something that I almost did yesterday morning except for I felt so crappy that I was like I can't go live today. So here I am doing it today. Will you say hi when you are here so that I know if I can see comments? Say hi when you're here. I don't know if I can see comments. So I'm going to give it a second. Give it, hold on. Hi. Hi, Tracy. Hi. Hi, hi. Happy Thursday. This feels like the longest week of my life. Um, okay. So I kind of gave a teaser for this like an hour or two ago when I was on my, like when I was at the grocery store and I don't want anybody to panic or worry, but I will tell you that this is how, this is what prompted this live. Okay, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you the story for what prompted the live, and then I'm gonna break that story down and I'm gonna apply it, apply it to the whole of your business, not just the example I'm about to give, but to the whole of every single month of your business. Okay. So as pretty much most everybody should know, we had a presenter perk offered by corporate this month, which was to get your 500 PRS by January 10th and you earn a free hydrating mask. Um, hi Paula, it was super exciting. Everybody was jazzed about it. Many people earned it, lots of you earned it. Um, everybody was kind of working towards it. Thank you, Ki Kimmy, I actually feel totally fine today. I don't know what was going on yesterday, but I feel great today, so uh, I'm gonna take it. Um, <laughs> anyway, so yesterday, was the final day to earn your 500, well, not the final day to earn your 500, but the final day to push to earn your 500, right? So yesterday morning, I wake up feeling super crummy, and one of the first things I do, it's actually a very terrible habit of mine that I really need to break, but one of the first things I do when I wake up for the day is I always check Facebook. That is not a good habit to have, you guys. Um, I really need to like start my day before I open that. Anyway, and some of the first things I saw when I opened my Facebook were people that I have seen, let me back that up, let me reframe that, that I haven't seen working their business for the first nine days of the month. Or if they were, it was very like sporadic, not consistent, like they weren't really going live, they weren't really talking about things. And that's not to say they weren't working their business, okay? So this is almost not fair because I know that I can't see the behind the scenes work, but suddenly out of the blue, there were people who suddenly were like, oh my gosh, I have to earn this mask. And they were suddenly um, telling their market that they really wanna earn this mask and who's gonna help them meet the goal and all this stuff. And it was like this, this, this out of the blue, oh my gosh, I have a goal, friends. Who's gonna help support me and help me earn this mask? On the day, the final day, to earn the mask, okay? And, and it worked for a lot of people, and that was awesome. Okay, so this isn't to discredit them earning it, but what got me when I saw it was, why do we always have to wait till the 11th hour to start showing up for our business? Why do we always have to wait to the 11th hour to start showing up for our business? And then when we show up at the 11th hour, we're often telling our market, oh, I have this goal, I wanna reach this goal, whether it's to maintain your status, whether it's to get a promotion, whether it's to earn a presenter perk, we are waiting until the last minute to start working our business, okay? And so here, I wanna be very clear about this. I've been thinking a lot, I was prepping dinner and I wanted to be very clear about my wording with this, okay? The problem isn't necessarily telling your market, hey, I have a goal, who's gonna help me reach my goal? Okay, that's not inherently a, a bad move. 
Okay, but the problem comes when that's your line every single month. Okay, there is no problem when you have a big goal and you ask for the help and the support. But when you're asking for it every time you want to requalify as your status, every time you want to earn a perk, and suddenly it's every month you're asking that, that's the problem. There's nothing wrong with doing it, okay, here and there. But when that's the only way you work your business, that's a problem. Okay, and don't worry, I'm not going to just leave you hanging telling you what's wrong. I'm gonna tell you how to fix it. Okay, that's the problem. The problem is waking up on the 10th of the month, suddenly realizing that, oh my gosh, I wanna, I wanna get that free mask, I wanna get my 500, and suddenly showing up to work and having to bust your tail all day that day to try to meet the goal, and oh my gosh, who's gonna help support me? And you're blowing up your messenger and you're blowing up your people because, oh my gosh, it's the 11th hour and I wanna meet this goal. And to be clear, I've done this before, so I'm not saying that I am, not, I am totally exempt from doing this. I did this with the... Um, with the November perk, right? Earning the trunk. And guys, then I actually jacked it up and I didn't even earn the trunk anyway. Waiting till the 11th hour to work your business is the mistake. More so than the telling your market you have a goal. The biggest mistake that people make, the most common mistake is waiting until the 11th hour, waiting until the last week of the month, waiting until the last three days of the month, waiting until the last day that that perk is available to be earned, waiting until the last month to earn the incentive trip, waiting, 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 and then waking up and suddenly deciding that you want to work your business and then going hard and then telling your people, hey, I have a goal. Who's going to help me reach it? Okay which is okay to do sometimes, but when that's your MO, when that's the only, and guys, I'm gonna be real straight talk with you right now. A lot of the people that I see this do most of the time are a lot of elites. Okay, so I'm not just talking about white status presenters. I'm not just talking about yellow status presenters. I'm not just talking about pink and blue. I'm talking about green status and above. We do it too. All right, and if that's the way you're working your business, I can almost guarantee that you are not maintaining your status. If that's the way you are working your business, I can guarantee that you are not maintaining your status. Because here's the problem. There is no consistent work effort. All right, and I know that consistency is hard. I'm gonna talk about it in a second. I know that it can be hard. All right, but if you wanna earn something with your business, and to be clear, nothing in business is given to you. It has to be earned, and that's how it should be. It's a business, okay? If you want to earn something with your business, the best way to earn it is to be somebody who works your business steady, okay? Because when you work your business steady, you don't have to show up every single month and suddenly out of the blue on the last day or two or the last week of the month or the last month of the incentive trip earning period and say, oh, I'm, I, I think I can earn it. Who's going to help me earn it? Okay, you don't have to do that. All right, and that's going to alleviate a few things. One, your people are actually going to be less annoyed with you because you're just somebody who works all the time. And if you're just somebody who works all the time, they don't feel taken advantage of, okay? Then when you really do need it, when it really is that go time, when it really is, man, I've been slow and steady working and I'm just this close, who's gonna help me? It means something. It means something more because they see that you've had that hustle all along and now you just need that extra push. Right, And they're going to be a lot more inclined to give you that extra push because they know that you bust your tail all the time anyway. Right? It means something. All right? When you work your business constant, consistent, okay, you're more likely to earn the things because you're actually just working your business. I'm going to tell you guys, you don't have to tell your market that you have a goal to hit the goal. Okay, I never like and I'm, I'm using myself as an example and I'm not using saying this to brag, but I didn't tell my market that I'm earning a free mask. Do not do, not for any other reason than I know that I can earn it just by simply doing the work. Okay, and I want to save that. I want to save that token. I want to save that ticket for a time when I really need it. 
when I really need that backup, maybe when I'm running for black status one one day and I'm like, oh, I'm so close. Maybe I'm gonna pull that card then, but this is a special card. It's a special card that you should use for special occasions, okay? It is a special card to use for special occasions. You don't, you don't show up at the 11th hour and decide that, oh yeah, you know what? I'm gonna work my business now, okay? So I'm gonna repeat myself because I do that. And then I'm gonna go into the consistency part of it. The number one mistake that people make is they are real low key, they don't really do much for their business, and then they show up in the last week of the month, or in this case, the last day of the earning period for the mask, and they decide that right now is when I'm gonna turn it on. And when you're waiting to turn on your business effort on the la at the 11th hour, and then you're having to tell your market, oh my gosh, I have this goal, who's gonna help me reach it? You're not building a consistent business. You're building a roller coaster. Okay, you're building a roller coaster that guarantees that you're not maintaining your status, that you're not consistently earning things, and your market probably doesn't trust you as a regular business person because where are you in the in-between? And if you only show up when you need something from your people, when you want to reach a goal, what, what does that make your audience feel like? Well, she only shows up and does stuff when she wants something, when she wants an extra bonus, when she wants an extra incentive. Where is she the rest of the time? Okay, it can't just be at the 11th hour. It has to be steadily and consistent. If you don't want a roller coaster of your business, you don't wait till the 11th hour. All right, and I and I and I and 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 I use my myself as an example, the consistent work effort. You don't always have to tell them when you have a goal because if you're just consistently working, for instance, for the 500 for the mask, if you start the month working your business, you're going to earn the mask. You're going to get the 500 before the 10th or on the 10th and you don't ever have to tell a soul that that's what you're working to earn because you're just doing your business. You're just doing what you do, okay? Um, so, okay, if that's the problem, if the problem is, if the number one mistake people make is chilling out and doing nothing for their business and then showing up at the 11th hour, okay, showing up on the last day of the earning period, showing up on the last week of the month or the last month of the incentive period, and suddenly pushing hard, okay, and, and having to rely on your market to say, hey, help me, help me, who's gonna help me earn this thing? If that's the problem, what's the solution? Okay, the solution is consistency. And I know that's, that's a buzzword right there. And I'm gonna tell you something else, guys. Nobody can help you with consistency except for you. That is a problem that nobody can solve for you. I cannot make you consistent at your business. I cannot make you show up and work your business consistently. I just can't do it. I can tell you all day long that's what you need to do. Your sponsor can tell you all day long that's what you need to do. But nobody can make you work your business consistently except for you deciding that you're going to show up consistently. Okay, and so if you have a problem with consistency, this is what I would tell you to do. This is what I would tell you. I would tell you, you, you need to figure out why you do this business. Because if you're having a problem with consistency, it means that you're not internally driven to show up and do what you need to do without anybody telling Telling you you need to do it if you don't have an internal drive to do what you need to do you need to build some internal drive which means that that video I shared by Brie Richardson earlier this week hi Michelle that's then what you need to watch okay where you find out why not your reasons but your actual legit why what is this gonna do for you how is this business actually going to deeply impact your life and you need to get in touch with that and nobody can do that except for you Nobody can make you do it, okay? All I can do is tell you that it's what needs to happen. It's on you to decide if you're gonna show up and do that, okay? It's so important to, to find your own personal drive because there's not always gonna be somebody there to give you a motivational pep talk. There's not always gonna be somebody there to kick you in the pants. There's not always going to be a, hey, you get this thing for free if you do X, Y, Z by the 10th of the month. There's not always going to be a, hey, get an extra bonus when you hit a rank. There's not always gonna be something to reward you for that. So motivation, drive, consistency, it comes from inside you. I can't give you 
I can't make you consistent. Okay, so I can tell you that the problem is a lack of consistency. I can tell you that the problem is showing up on the last day of the earning period and deciding that you're going to flip a switch and turn it on. And I'm not going to lie, when I, saw, when I saw some of this yesterday as I was like scrolling Facebook like a stalker, I thought, where was this on the first of the month? Where was this on the third of the month? Where was this on the fourth of the month? Where was the working? Okay, because you would have never had to say, hey, who's going to help me earn X, Y, Z if you had just done the work from the beginning of the month. You feel me? Um, and I, I'm not trying to be pedantic and I'm not trying to be condescending. I am simply wanting to express to you the importance of showing up with a consistent effort. And when I say consistent effort, I don't mean you have to be balls to the wall all in every day. Okay, I'm not saying you have to go live every day. You just have to be, <coughs> you just have to be present. You just have to be doing something. Okay, the six steps, and, and that's the thing is then the next thing is, well, Lauren, I don't know how to work my business. Oh, that's bogus. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. I don't need, you know, unless you're brand new, unless you are brand new, you know how to do this business. Okay, unless you are literally like brand new, started this month, started last month, you know how to sell things. You know how to work. You know how to do this business. Nobody needs to tell you a new G, a new G whiz, how am I going to do it, method of doing this. Shoot. Shirt, search the six, six steps to success. Search for step two where it's broken down on striving to make a sale, striving to network, striving to do the things. I don't need to tell you how to work this business. You know how to work this business. But too many are actively choosing to not do much of that business until the 11th hour when they finally decide to turn it up. And I'm gonna tell you, here's the other thing. Some do work their business consistently. I will say that. Some absolutely do some things for their business consistently. And then the 11th hour and they turn up the volume and suddenly it's like major go time. Right, I get it. The thing is, is that I think a lot of us underestimate how much effort it actually takes to achieve the things, okay? It takes significant effort. Getting a 500, getting 500 PRS by the 10th, you're not just going to sit around and lounge around and wait for sales to roll in. That takes active conscientious effort. That takes active getting in your messenger and following up. That takes active working your VAP group. That takes active, I'm doing X, Y, Z in order to yield X, Y, Z. It takes Active, attentive effort okay so if you're somebody who does work consistently and you still found yourself scrambling on the last day to earn the mask okay then maybe the answer for you isn't not isn't that you're not consistent and turning it up on the last day maybe it's that you need to turn up your effort sooner does that make sense maybe it's I've been working consistently and then I, and I ended up scrambling on the last day anyway shoot maybe then your issue isn't that you're not consistent. It's that you're not giving enough earlier. Does that make sense? Um, I'm sharing this with you guys, not because I want to lecture you and not because I want to make anybody feel bad for their business, but because too often I hear, I feel complaints. My business, I just can't, I just can't maintain my status. I just can't do X, Y, Z. I'm just not whatever. And so I've been watching. I've been watching. And what I'm seeing is largely a lot of people not doing a lot until the last minute. And if you want a rock solid business, you cannot procrastinate. You cannot procrastinate and then you cannot bank on people deciding to support your goal. That is, that is something, I'm, and again, I want to be very clear, I'm not saying that telling your market that you have a goal that you're trying to reach. I'm not saying that that is the mistake. I'm saying that using that card every single time at the 11th hour, at the last minute, that is a mistake. Save that card. Save it to use it when you really need it, okay? Otherwise, consistently work your business from day one of the month all the way up to day 30 or day 31. Consistently work the business. People are gonna trust you more. 
people are probably going to support your business more because instead of seeing you as somebody who just shows up whenever you have this random goal to reach, you're somebody who's there all the time, who's there and working a business and building a business and you're open and dang man, they know that they can count on you for makeup needs and they know that you're not just banking on their backs to get whatever you need, whatever the goal may be, okay? That's what I wanted to share with you guys. Um, again, with the consistency, that's the solution. Nobody can enforce that solution except for you. And if you're having difficulty with consistency, you need to get real deep and real clear about what you're doing here because it has to be enough to bring you to the business even when you don't feel like doing the business. Yesterday, guys, I'm not joking when I say I laid on my couch all day. I still messaged with people about the makeup. I still interacted with people in my VIP group. Okay, because the reasons why I show up this to this business are big enough that it keeps me going even when I don't feel like it. It keeps me going even when something has me down. And sometimes there are discouraging things within the business itself. Sometimes somebody says something negative. Sometimes some drama happens. Sometimes things go wrong, right? My why for doing this business keeps me showing up regardless of the discouraging moments, regardless of defeat, regardless of, man, I just don't want to work. I'm not saying you can't take time off. I'm not saying you can't have moments to relax. But if you're doing nothing and you're procrastinating and you're waiting till the 11th hour to decide that you're going to do something. And so, and, and, and again, sometimes we do that. I'm going to, this last caveat, sometimes we do that. Sometimes, like for me, it was me in November. I was like, yeah, I don't really need that trunk. I'm not really going to go for it. And then at the 11th hour, I was like, I'm going to go for it. Right? Sometimes we just decide and change our mind at the 11th hour. There's nothing wrong with doing that sometimes. The issue I'm seeing is that there's a lot of people who do it all year long. I mean, I'm talking all year long. And, I, and, I, and, I, and I'm not trying to be a jerk when I say it's a, lot, it's a lot of elites. I'm not trying to be a jerk when I say that. But it's true. Okay, and I, and, and I say that also to reassure the white status and the yellow status and the pink status and the blue status that this isn't, this isn't, this isn't a status thing. It's true across the board, okay? It's true across the board. People who are like, they hit something and then they do nothing and then the next month they see, oh my gosh, look, my company numbers are, I, I'm within reach. I could do this major push right at the very end and I'll make it happen and that's really nice. But when that's the way you have to maintain your status every single month and that's the only way you maintain your status is by this massive push right at the end of the month because, hey guys, I have a goal and that's the only way you ever hit your status, there is something wrong. And it probably has a lot to do with consistency and it probably, if consistency isn't the issue, it probably has to do with how much effort is being put in in the first place, even though it's consistent. It's probably just not big enough consistent. If that makes sense. Okay, I gotta run because Matt is awake and I gotta go get Ben from school. I hope this is helpful and offers some perspective and helps maybe you think about how you work your business. I would, I want to see, I want nothing more than to see people reach their goals and be successful, but we, we gotta stop showing up at the 11th hour. We gotta show up at the first hour and keep showing up consistently, 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 consistently. And then you're not scrambling at the end. You just reach the goal. It's amazing, okay? It's an amazing way to do your business when you just reach your goals because you're just working your business. Okay, friends, have a super great day. I'll talk to y'all later.